mediocrity in Nigerian society. In Nigeria, we often see instances of the abnormal being celebrated as the norm. For example, you may hear people say things like, no be Nigeria we day, when they encounter corruption or poor service delivery as if it is to be expected. We often witness public officials failing to deliver on their promises, yet they are still celebrated as if they have achieved something great. We may see governor being praised for simply fixing a road that has been disrepair for years instead of holding them accountable for the poor state of infrastructure in the first place. Furthermore, in Nigeria, we tend to have a culture of celebrating mediocrity, especially when it comes to entertainment. You may see an artist with poor vocals or subpar lyrics being praised as a superstar simply because they are famous. It is important for Nigerians to recognize that we deserve better than this. We should demand excellence from our leaders and service providers and not settle for less. By holding them accountable, we can create a brighter future for ourselves and for our country. Let us reject the normalization of mediocrity and strive for greatness in all aspects of our lives. As Nigerians, we should always aim for the best and not settle for anything less. See, when I was coming up with this, I looked around and I feel like we, seems because we have been uh, taken for granted for long, we tend to see some of these misnomers being normal. You hear when, when after a week, power is restored, power supply is restored to your area. And maybe after six hours, they interrupted, interrupt it again. You like, ah, what did I try? Man, you, you, were they <laughs> supposed to interrupt it for? I mean, six hours, because you've gotten six hours power supply, you feel like, wow, we were in Nidorado. You Then you now come to the normal. So, and again, you see governors celebrating, uh, have, have been paid the salaries of our civil servant since the last three years without, is that supposed to be an achievement? Are we supposed to be celebrating you for paying the worker's salary? So I see it as we really celebrating mediocrity. And that's why we have not moved beyond this state that we have as a country. When a, a service provider ditches us or don't give us the, the commensurate service for what we have paid for. We don't hold them accountable. We tend to, you, I've heard people who will tell you, when I, when I use a, a card at the ATM and I was debited 20,000, that money is still there since the last one year because I don't even know, I don't want their problem. And you see, see the same person banking with such financial institution, which means we don't know what we want. And that's why the government or the leaders are able to see through this. And so they give us peanuts instead of what we deserve as citizens of this country. Um, I don't think that is the... I mean, I understand what you're saying, but I feel like it's just human nature. When you beat someone all the way, you constantly beat someone beat and beat and beat. You keep hitting the person. After a while, the person gets used to it. Mm. And because the person gets used to it, the person doesn't even understand where to rise from. <laughs> Do you understand? Because it's not, I mean, imagine every time um, I want to climb this mountain, for example, and every time I try, I fall. And then for every time I fall, Maybe I was supposed to fall to 20, then I fall to 10, then I fall to, you know, and then I keep falling and I keep falling. The spirit gets defeated. And there's no motivation. When you look around, like, you know, everyone is hustling, everyone is bustling there, and double taxation here and there. Everything is just so hard that when you then get just a little light, 
you cling to it like is the is everything else because you've been met with so much negativity here and there that you've even given up mm. basically and so the small positivity you get you celebrate it mm. so i'm not is i'm not defending people that i mean yes you should ask for more you should strive for more but when the society keeps beating you down you try to you know fight for your rights you put something i mean i've had people that they got robbed i mean and then they cleared out their account they go to the bank to say oh I it, I it was one chance they cleared out my account and then immediately they say ah sorry we can't help you because it showed that you withdraw this money go and get um police reports police says ah no they can't help you um you can't file under here because your money is maybe two hundred thousand that's not where you file it under you file so by the time they go round and round they say to you I leave you with God God will judge you mm -hmm. because number one that is the person's entire savings that the person has worked made sure she left the house at 4 a.m. in the morning and come back home at 10 p.m. in the night, worked non-stop, and then entered one chance. Go robbed, goes to the bank and say, hey, they cleared my account. Bank says, I can't help you. It shows that it was you that withdrew it to do this. This You need police. Re go to police. Police says, oh, it's below the amount. Go and file it here. You go to this one. They say, pay this. I said, you know what? I start from the beginning again. Are you going to say that person is being mediocre? No. The person has been beat up and beat up time without number. Society has pushed the person down. Mm. Mm. I, I think I, I will want to digress a little bit and look at it from a different, entire different angle. Okay. Right? You see, yes, mediocrity, reality is what you have actually explained. Yeah. And mediocrity is what we should not entertain right but we should we should quickly run it back to i would say self-awareness right because today the same police the same banker that are doing the job they are not doing the job because they are happy doing the job they are doing the job because they have certain instruction they have to follow and they have to put food on their own table right they are not doing the job and following it to the letter to the way it expected to be done. I give an example. You go to an ATM machine or a POS agent, withdraw, you have a declined debit, meaning that the, the transaction fail, you are debited. On a this situation, you are not to fight where you got where you got debited. The standard says go to your bank, fill a dispense error form. The dispensary form says go and you know log it on a the system, then they track it and it is bank to bank to reverse your money, right? But what we have is different. You see somebody who is a staff, a bank staff. Number one, they don't even know their job. They will tell you, yes, you have been debited. See, the money is debited. You go back to where you have been debited. That's where the money is, right? You see transaction of transfers. This is a session ID that you have to log and track the transaction. They're lazy to do it. They will tell you, no, we don't have this money. You see a system where I've seen a known fintech, I don't want to mention them. You see a money, you send the money from an, a third party to that known fintech. You see the money, so so amount of money received, status, fail, go back to where you get the money from. You know, it's self awareness, I think, and the willpower. You know, I, I also go it back to uh, about horse. If you look at before 1966 coup, sorry to digress a little bit. Before 1966 coup, Nigeria was running a regional system. Everybody were trying to see how their community or their region can strive. You know, it's a weird thing. Everybody, they don't celebrate you because you are doing good. Because they know it is necessary for their next phase of development. Right? And you can see that those are the best world we still have to date. Right? Now, you now see a military system where there is fear. You know, since 1966 coup and counter coup and stuff like that, we have been living in fear. And everybody is just trying to see how do I survive? If I do this, there are powers of, let's say, a, a, a government that is powerful more than me. Or I have somebody, I don't have money. 
once I have money, I, they win the case in court. You know, I don't see justice. And it is that fear that actually promotes the, uh, the Medro Kitty that we are seeing in Nigeria. You see the fear that somebody will tell you, I will kill you. A police will harass you on the road. They will tell you, I will kill you. And if they have good connection, they will kill you and nothing will happen. You can see the case of uh, uh, the lawyer that was killed, pregnant lawyer. Now, police is discarding it as uh, the, the case is going elsewhere. Like, they want to pardon. They, they are still on the case, but it doesn't look like they are accusing the, the, the police. Usually, before now, what they do is they will just disengage the police. The action happened as a police officer. But when they say you have killed a citizen, the reason why that of the lawyer is because she is a lawyer and the uh, MBA is intervening and said they will follow it to the letter. If as an individual, they will disengage such police officer. The police officer will answer the crime as an individual. But when the crime happened, that's a mediocre, you know, sentence that it doesn't really make sense. It happens when the person was a police officer. Why will you disengage that person? Because you don't want it to attach to the system. You know, a lot of things are wrong. And it is all, all about self-awareness. When people are conscious and are aware of what penalty, what effects, you know, what negative effects all these actions are going to be, I believe people will be conscious of their dealings. And just like you said, why will you celebrate a governor for constructing a road? Why will you celebrate a governor for paying salary? They are staffs, they work for their money, and they are expected to be paid. It's just like saying you have father in a house and giving food to the children. Why will you celebrate a father for giving food to his own children? Does it make any sense? You are not adding any additional value to say, you know, there is a society like this. My child, go and learn this skill so that you can solve this problem in this society. Then you should celebrate such parents. Right? You can see normal road, normal traffic, but you look at Lagos, for example. Normal tra traffic, wherever is there, but they introduce the likes of LASMA as an additional supporting. Okay, you can celebrate them for bringing something new. You look at BLT, subsidize as a then. You can celebrate, yes, this is beyond normal. And these are things we should be looking at too. But because we are used to it, our parents do not also help us, truth be told. Because our parents has actually, you know, all those glorify professional courses and the societal acceptability of some things had made other people look less. And you allow it to like, oh, Nadine, I think we should start thinking different and see self-awareness for my own advocate is more like of self-awareness and taking necessary action as at one due. Okay. So sorry, I just want to really um, jump on that. It's good to say self-awareness, but I think also when we go with self-awareness, we should also look at enforcement. It's one thing for me to be aware of a situation of what is my due of what my worth is. Mm. How do I enforce it? I agree. Because I'm aware. I'm aware that I've been dealt a bad hand. I'm aware that I know what my worth is. And this is not my worth. So how do I enforce it when the society that is supposed to, based on the rules that govern a society, a same society, <laughs> the rules cannot be enforced? So I'm only aware of my suffering. Mm. I'm aware of what is limiting me. Or I'm aware of my situation. I'm aware of what I need to have and what I don't have. Sure, I agree with you, right? And that is why I said I, I chipped in a little bit, but I don't want to, uh, you know, expand on it. When I went back to the government of military, regional and stuff like that, right? When we are talking about enforcement, it's government to enforce. But when we are aware, we don't even start, you know, it is, we have a democratic system, and it's not something that will just happen under a miracle. It's a process, right? Are we electing from the, you know, ward level, the necessary people 
to nominate who will represent us to do the right system. Because if there is no system, it's difficult to enforce. Our system entirely is corrupt. Right? So we need to start changing the mindsets from the grassroots, from the interaction, not the high type of, uh, you know, living. We live in an estate now. I don't even know my neighbor. <laughs> you, you understand? And when you have to, within your world, you have to interact. Change. Don't look like this person is less. Today we see artisans as being less. But the reality is we can't do without them. Absolutely. Sure. So the, the, this aspect, I, I need to uh, punch on it. Uh, I understand that our psyche has been really battered. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we went through a long period of military oh, ideology. And so <laughs> uh, we've been rude. In fear. In fear. So it's, it's, it has its own consequences. Mm -hmm. But I think at some point we need to put a stop and say, here, yeah. you know, just like you have said, if somebody has been beating and beating and beating, <laughs> uh, then that person wants to <laughs> go to one corner can. just... But at some point, it's... Uh, so we cannot continue to celebrate this mediocrity. There has to be, just like as, as you mentioned, consequences of actions. Mm -hmm. You know, that is what has really been an issue. Because, you know, anybody elected who, is, who has not performed knows that there is no consequences. Because he is surely going to still be, get re-elected the next time he <laughs> comes out again. So at, at some point, we have to know when to say, no, we cannot take it no more. We cannot continue to celebrate these people. We've seen situations in this country where politicians embezzled money. They are on trial. And their own kinsmen will come out and say, it's our own living, at least. He's doing fine. For us. So when you are even talking about on that, sorry for cutting you, on that, when you're talking about enforcement, there is also plead by game. I still on that billion. You know what? I'll give you 80 billion. Free me. So that means if you want to steal, steal big. <laughs> you know, that's enforcement. And they will enforce. And they will pardon you. You are pardoned. So enforcement, you know, it, that's why I, I talk more of uh, uh, self-awareness, doing the right thing. You know, even if you are in government and stuff like that. Every way it's, you have to just, you know. No, I mean, I'm not saying that self-awareness is not important. I understand. But I'm just saying that they go hand in hand. Because mm -hmm. even if I am aware, even if I'm ready to, even if the goat is going to charge back, mm -hmm. he needs to have someone is going to charge. And he needs to know that it's with this force that I will use to knock this person down. Right? So that mm -hmm. is, is now going to enforce his might and strength and boom for action. So I'm aware that this guy, if I continue like this, there's nowhere else to go. So let me, let, me, let me give you another example just to join what he said. I was in a particular junction in Lagos here, right? And um, this guy, kick, uh, kick against indiscipline or what have you. They are trying to all those uh, orcas to chase them away. But this lady, immediately they saw them, they were running at a scatter. You know, you are still running after them. This old woman fell, she stood up, fell like three times. And people were pleading to okay, please leave this woman. She has at, at least feared you. And the next thing, the guy was like, nothing. They were like gathering. You know what people did? Awareness. They bombarded them. And they ensured that they freed the lady. Even as much that the lady was doing something that is banned in those areas, but they were at least trying to say, give this person a warning. You know, that's self-awareness of say, if we say no, I'm just talking about we coming together to change things. Even a constituent authority, by the time we come together and say no, we are going against these bad acts, it's achievable. It that's is. the point. It is. So it's just the readiness and awareness to say, we are not just, I, I recall when I was in school, I, when I was in school, I fought the management. You know why? Because our due, our deal that we pay. So management staff are the one paying. They're the one. They, they're the one swallowing it. And we begin to fight it. And fellow students are the one fighting us back. But immediately they get to know. They say, oh, so this is how worse it is. If they knew, and they would have 
come together and do the right thing. So self-awareness is also very important. When people are self-aware, they can come together in unity and say stop to something that is not right. That's the advocate. The end always seems to come too soon on the advocate. However, the advocate continues on our social media platforms. On Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate ng. On Twitter and Instagram, at Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate ng. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrican.com forward slash the advocate ng. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time on this station, let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye.